Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, this is going to be a jam-packed broadcast today. It is the 18th day of July, 2011, on this Monday edition. Obviously, gold has surged past $1,600 an ounce in the middle of its historically dead period, uh, the summer. There is all this diversionary talk about the debt ceiling, and I continue to get calls and emails saying, why aren't you talking more about it? Because as Ron Paul said a month ago, it is all rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. We have signed on to the 1.5 quadrillion uh, that we have been induced to sign on to by our terrorist politicians, financial terrorist politicians. And you could give the bankers all the wealth in the world. It wouldn't pay off a fraction. I mean, do you remember uh, even what the Chinese talked about months ago? They said the United States has already technically defaulted on its debt. And that's what's happened with the QE1, QE2, now QE3. So we're going to be uh, discussing that today, we're going to go over the economy. I told you Rick Perry was going to run for president. And his whole pledge that he wouldn't run was a pledge he always meant and intended to break. We're going to be going over uh, that news as well. Uh, I haven't talked a lot about this. I've talked about it some. And yes, I will discuss it coming up. Uh, the fellow that uh, heads up Bilderberg, major website, uh, Bilderberg.org, Tony Gosling, great reporter. Uh, he's been following us closely from London. He'll be joining us in 30 minutes. Uh, the entire News Corps crises with two police chiefs, the police commissioner and the head of Scotland Yard, having to resign the last 24 hours. The head of the News Corps uh, in England, uh, in the UK, arrested, as you know, over hacking uh, people's phones to get news stories. And I think that's wrong, and they should get in trouble for it. But meanwhile, I've, I've been following this for the last week, thinking the police would do something. Millionaire's six-year-old son dies after a mysterious accident at mansion where his father's lover was found hanging naked with uh, her arms and legs bound. And the police are saying, this is just like Pulitzer Prize winner Gary Webb's death, shot twice in the back of the head with a shotgun. They said... That was quite normal for you to shoot yourself twice in the head, back of the head with a shotgun. Kind of like Fami Malik, the Arkansas medical examiner, would rule that people were, that were chopped up and burned had done it to themselves. That's right, chop your arms and legs off. Uh, so this is what I said with Dominique Strauss-Kahn. I don't like him. He's a globalist. Uh, I hate their policies. But the fact that he would get busted for reported rape, that is suspicious. Then we learned Sarkozy had spies on him. Announced he'd been arrested before he even been arrested, before it was even in the news, via their Twitter. Uh, his Carl Rove, his political hatchet guy did. And now we learn the whole thing was a fraud. So I'm just telling you with this Rupert Murdoch deal, they are announcing emergency parliament session. Uh, we've got good intel that they are currently planning to launch a war in Iran in September. Uh, and uh, Bob Baer, the former top CIA uh, officer in the Middle East, is saying that it's green-lighted, but that mean, it, it could still be called off. Debka Files reporting that. We got a big report. We got that from Inside Bilderberg as well this year. Meanwhile, we're, they're getting ready to launch all these new wars. They're getting ready to ground invade Libya. So Gaddafi finally got the word and is finally actually saying, yes, I may step down if I'm given a deal and allowed to leave. So I hope something's brokered with Iran. Um the word is their government may remove Ahmed Dinajid in the next month to avert this attack. The point is, we got bigger issues going on here than DSK and Rupert Murdoch and uh, his, uh, you know, reported dirty activities. But nevertheless, I will cover that. The economy, Rick Perry, five dead in attack on Chinese police station, riots going on all over China. The globalists sell us China as this wonderful panacea. Truth is, it's teetering on the verge of collapse. The entire world is.
This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Coming up later in the third hour of the broadcast, we're going to perhaps show the video. It's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com of a teen in San Francisco uh, who didn't pay a $2 bus fare. And so the police shoot him, and he convulses and coughs up his lifeblood as the cops stand around him with guns. And it looks like that the uh, San Francisco Police Department saying this is a good thing to do. Meanwhile, the foreign banks that rule this country have stolen at least $27 trillion of U.S. taxpayer money. And when we give them the money, we then have to pay interest on the money we give them and have our taxes raised for austerity and have basic services cut off and uh, have the dollar devalued, which annihilates people on fixed income, Social Security, you name it. Nothing's going to happen to the bankers, at least at this juncture, because the public has been so conditioned. Uh, but I think we will show the video. Folks are listening going, I'm listening to you on the AM or FM dial. We simulcast all the um, show in live living color at prisonplanet.tv. But I will warn people when we play the video. But there he is, gunned down, uh, unarmed, and then coughing up his lifeblood. Of course, a year and a half ago, you saw the footage uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area uh, of the uh, youth pulled off the train because 30 minutes earlier a fight had been reported. Turned out it wasn't the right young people. And uh, they're all sitting there on the ground, and they get him up. 
put him in handcuffs. He doesn't resist, and the officer shoots him in the back, pulls the gun out, and shoots him in the back. It looked extremely deliberate. And then the police lied and said he'd fought them and attacked them. They thought they'd confiscated all the cell phone cameras, but somebody uh, about 30 yards away in another train was able to shoot the whole incident that, that was stopped. And the police tried to defend it at first, so there was riots. Then they gave the guy a couple years in jail, and he served less than a year, the police officer that engaged uh, in the execution. This is the essence of living in a third world tyranny, where the police are basically violent video game fans or uh, steroid uh, admirers and are looking for a trophy. They're like deer hunters. And uh, we've seen the quotes by police in the news more and more of, I love to hunt. I love to hunt humans. It's so much fun. I want to get some. So they go to the wrong house. It's a veteran. Uh, they, the wife says, honey, there's people around the windows. He gets his rifle, and they bust in and gun him down. And as he's flopping around dying, they go ahead and run up and shoot him a few more times and start squealing with delight because they're getting some. They're, they're, they're playing the video game, and it's so much fun. They go to the insurance salesman's house because the crackhead uh, informant wants to get uh, some money and, and, and fingers the wrong house. To, uh, so the police raid the house looking for drugs openly shipped in by the U.S. government and big banks. And they go in the house, and uh, the 67-year-old uh, retired insurance salesman in a million-dollar house gets up out of his bed with a handgun. They kill him, and the police say, hey, it's good. This is America. This is what our country has turned into. And I was going to cover a bunch of other news, but watching that video uh, right before the show was so, so horrific. Um, again, it's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com if you uh, want to uh, watch uh, the real world, not some simulated death that we've been conditioned to with all the violence on television, but the real deal. It is up at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Now, here's what's coming up uh, today. We have Tony Gosling of Bilderberg.org, great reporter from England, joining us to break down the whole News Corp scandal now uh, spreading to the United States uh, with criminal investigations and Australia, not just the epicenter, the UK. UK Prime Minister calls for emergency session of Parliament. Over all this, because, of course, he's knee-deep in with the uh, Mercadoids, the Murdochoids. And we've got a headline, Scandal Grows at News Corps. Uh, the head of News Corps in England arrested. Scotland Yard head steps down reportedly in a bribery investigation. Uh, the head of the Metropolitan Police Commission, that's big, steps down. This is spreading. So there's some coup, counter-coup going on. Let me give you a news flash. This comes out in Hollywood all the time. In fact, it came out in a murder trial uh, just a few years ago with one of L.A.'s biggest detectives, uh, private detectives involved with the police and others wiretapping folks. This is how business is done. You know, you look at the Fortune 500 or even the Fortune 100. What is it? Of the 100 biggest economies in the world, last time I checked, we can look it up, 54 of the 100 biggest economies are not countries. They're corporations. Walmart is bigger than most major countries. Of course, they have their own mercs. They have their own spies. They have their own operatives. And my issue here is, why'd they go after Dominique Strauss-Kahn when if you're a globalist in good standing, you can get away with murder? Why are they going after Murdoch now for some phone hacking which is standard operating procedure for big Fortune 100 media companies. I mean, Lady Gaga's partner, right, a week after they signed their record deal, fell off a building. I'm sure it was suicide. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you really live in the real world, this, this, this world is run by the ruthless. So I think the whole thing stinks to high heaven. I'm all for Rupert Murdoch to be punished. But first, they need to punish people like this guy, or it needs to be investigated. Let's, let's, let's find out whoever was behind this. <clears throat> Millionaire six-year-old son dies after a mysterious accident at Mansion, where his father's lover was found hanging naked. So